What is up YouTube, this is Rogue Player here, and I am back again with an updated Zombie Sworn deck profile. So my last video, um, I uploaded of this, you know, that was um, a while back, but I revised, edited, made it more, um, made it more stronger, and as you see, I um, put Dante in here, and I put a few other cards in here, so let's get right into it. So, for monsters, we're running... Two Zombie Master. Obviously, in most zombie decks, you run Zombie Master. <clears throat> he basically discards the monster and bring out any zombie of your choosing from either player's graveyard with um, level four or lower. Running three Plague Spreader Zombies. Um, a long time ago, I used to run two of him, but I found out that three was better because it's more consistent. And then we're um, running three Mizukis adds graveyard zombie consistency. You just keep using his effect if you can get him in grave. Um, they're running two Uni Zombie. Uni Zombie is the card that basically says um, you can discard a, um, um, a zombie from your hand. No, you can discard any card from your hand. If you do, he goes up one level. Or you can send a zombie from your deck to the graveyard and he can go up another level. But if you use a secondary effect, he can't. No monsters can attack that turn except for zombies. So you need zombies a really good card, but since I don't run really any zombie extra deck cards, he does kind of hurt if I want to use a secondary effect, but I can just bring out like double beals, you know, to protect my, um, to, pr to keep myself safe, hopefully, until the next turn that I can attack. They're running one goblin zombie. Um, I had, I had, um, for a moment I had three of him, then I had two of them, now I have one of him, because he isn't that great, but if you need a defense, and you want to get a plus off of it, Goblin Zombie's not bad. So, I do like him at one, it's not that bad, um, we're not done yet, oh, I'm sorry, um, then we're running, let me, you know what, I'm just gonna, like, move these, so I won't get distracted, or so you guys won't be, um, confused, so we're running three Destiny Hero Maliciouses, um, basically you go Banish, Special, go for Plague Spreader, and you go Synchro Summon for eight Beals, Void Ogre, Dragon, Stardust, Spark, Scrap, Dragon, whatever, then we're running three Pete and the Dark Clown, I love Pete in here because he is the most annoying card, because right when he hits Grave, you banish him from Grave to use his effect, right when he gets sent to the graveyard. You can remove him from the graveyard, especially on a brand new one. His effect can, use, can be used infinite amount of time, so Peanut Dark Clown is a hilarious card. And then we're running three Lumina. Um, basically Lumina, you already know how she works, you go, um, discard a card, especially on any life swarm from Grave, so she helps with my Raiden plays, then we're running two Raiden this time, I don't run three anymore, because three is really cloggy, you don't really want to draw into Raiden, you normally want to mill Raiden, and have a Lumina in hand, so you can bring back Raiden, you don't really want to draw into Raiden, unless it, unless your opponent's field isn't, filled up with overpower monsters, but, and, but besides that, you don't really want to draw into Raiden against the current meta decks, and then we're running two Lila, she helps pop back her and she's a pretty decent beat stick, and she mills three, so, you know, if her effect can go off and your opponent doesn't stop it, she's a really good card, then we're running three Rainbow Kribo. I still run through Rainbow Kribo because this is like one of the best cards in the game, in um best stall cards in the game. When your opponent attacks, you can um, equip him to your opponent's monster, and your opponent monster can't attack. Or if he's in your graveyard, you um if your opponent declares a direct attack, you can special summon him, and your opponent's forced to redirect his attack. So Rainbow Kribo is really good. They're running one glow bulb. Um, you know, it's quick mill power and special summon power, so yeah, Global Bulb's really good. They're running one BLS. So, that's for the monsters. Now, for the spells, we're running not a lot, but we're running a few. Now, you would think that normally, in a fast, quick deck like this, you would normally be running like a crap ton of spells, but you don't really run many spells in this deck. But we are running... Two solar recharge, um, 
two, um, so, I mean, my bad, uh, two Charger Light Brigade, because they both have charge in it, so I kind of got confused, two Charger Light Brigade, two Solar Recharge. Now, the only reason I'm running two Solar Recharge is because I always draw into this card and it always clogs, and I hate it. So you do not want to draw into this card when you don't have a Light Sworn. So either you mill it or you don't grab it. And so yes, we're running Solar Recharge, Foolish Burial, um, two Solar Recharges, and two Charge of Light Brigades for spells. Now for the now we're actually running traps in this version. We're running Void Trap Hole, Solemn Warning. Compulse, Bottomless, and Car Crush Virus be because um we have a lot of targets for Crush Card. Like we have, let's see here, waiting for it to focus. Okay, now for we have targets like Pete and the Dark Clown, Malicious, and we also have three Plague Spreaders. So we have quite a bit of targets for Crush Card. So that's for the main deck. Now for the extra deck, we're running Dante, uh, 101, Castell. We In this deck, we don't really focus on the XYZs, but we do run XYZs just in case. We're running for Synchros, our Mateys, for um, Sixes, we're run that was for Five, for Eight, I mean for Sixes. We're running um, Stardust Charge Warrior for seventh. We're running Black Rose, Black Rose Moonlight, and Michael. For eighth, we're running obviously Double Beals like before. Void Ogre Dragon, Scrap Dragon, and Stardust Spark Dragon. Now for higher ups, we're running one Leo, and one of the most overpowered cards in the current meta, um, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King C Calamity. Now this card is kind of hard to bring out, but all you need is like let's say a dark dragon so you need one of these three one of these three guys and two plex spreaders or you can have a, uh, yeah so you're gonna need basically one of these three and two plex spreaders now that's possible to pull off but it's not the easiest thing to do but it can be done so yeah, that is my rogue deck, my Zombie Sworn updated deck profile. If you like it, we're almost at 100 um, subscribers, so please subscribe so we can make 200 so I can show you my special deck profile that you've all been waiting for. Please subscribe, guys, and thanks for watching. Please leave a like.